For the last question, um, to me, contemporary art is not something that can be defined within specific time frame or historical context. Rather than that, it's about engaging with the voices and viewpoints of those who are living in the present. So a uh, work of art, even if created in the past, can be deemed contemporary if it raised various questions or issues that resonate within today's discourses. I think it's a mistake to define, to try to define the contemporaneity of a work of art in terms of the medium in which it is produced. Uh, a NFT, for example, is not necessarily more contemporary than a painting, nor, nor is a photograph taken with the help of artificial intelligence more contemporary uh, than an analog photograph or than a drawing. I still think that one of the best definitions of what is contemporary is that proposed by the philosopher George Agamben. For him, being contemporary is not adhering perfectly to the times lived is not being faithful to what is to what is most is most recent for again being, being contemporary means looking at the time we live in with distrust it means being close to your time and simultaneously being distant from it it means looking at this lived time, at one's lived time, in a in a always critical way. As he says, to be contemporary means perceiving more the dark than the light of one's time. And to deal with somehow. So what defines whether or not a work of art is contemporary is not, is not the material or the technique it's made of, but the way the ways in which it interpolates its time, the way it points out and challenges the contradictions of its time, the way it contributes with the its own possibilities as a work of art to make this a better place to live in. The zeitgenössische Kunst hat sich aus den Experimenten der modernen Kunst entwickelt. Sie spiegelt die Krisen der Gesellschaft wider. Sie fordert heraus und regt zu einer Reflexion an, die über die Ästhetik des Werkes hinausgeht. Installation, Performance, Mixed Media und Konzeptkunst sind in unserer Ära omnipräsent. Doch die Kunstgattung allein macht ein Werk noch nicht zeitgenössisch. Entscheidend ist, dass der Künstler, die Künstlerin, nicht nur am Puls der Zeit hängt, sondern den Nerv der Zeit trifft. Und es muss vor allem ein ästhetisch überzeugendes, die Wahrnehmung des Betrachters forderndes künstlerisches Experiment sein. When is it art? How do you define a work of art that is contemporary? I think these are two questions. Um, the first question, when is, when is it art or what is art? is most probably the oldest question in the context of art. Uh, for over 2,500 years, we discuss the ontology of art. What is art? And from, from Plato until today, we have different assumptions, ideas of art, which always changed according to the uh, alteration of society, the alteration of the art scene, and the alteration of, 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 of culture. 
Um, and I think the greatest definition uh, comes from uh, Donald Judd, who once said, I think back, back in the 60s, 1960s, um, when someone says it's art, it's art. Uh, it sounds, it sounds um, ordinary and it sounds, it sounds stupid, but I think that's what it is. Who are you to define what art is and what art is not? And I always um, suggest my students uh, not to do so. Because if you start to try to define what is art and what is not, you will sit in the same boat like all the dictators in history, in the history of human mankind did. You will sit next to Stalin and Lenin and Hitler and they all had very precise ideas of what art is and what art is not. And I think nobody would like to sit in the same boat with them. I think that if someone is creating a work in the disciplines that we call art, ranging from tradition traditional disciplines like painting and drawing and sculpture to Contemporary issues like, you know, animation and video and um, performance and whatever, you know, participatory work, interrelational aesthetics, all what you can think of. So whenever you, as someone who does work in this field, does it for most of his or her life or the day, if your whole life and your whole day is in a way to a large amount centered around creating something that you call art, then you are an artist and you do not even have to have an education at the academy for it. You might, be, you might not become a great artist, that's something else, but at least whatever you do is art. Anyway, so if somebody is doing art, calls it art and presents it as art, it's art. We only then have to discuss whether this is a strong work of art or a strong artist or whether it's a weak work of art and a weak artist. This is something that we can discuss and even today we can discuss this. Maybe not, at, maybe not according to as objective and rationalist measurements like we did it before the 1950s, but still if you go to jury meetings at the academy or in competitions, postmodernism's anything goes didn't blow up all rules and all assumptions about how to evaluate an artwork. There is still something that we can judge. On the other hand, the second question actually, how do you, def how do you define a work of art as contemporary? Then I would come to the evaluation, the judgment, the criticism. How do we criticize a work of art? or How do we evaluate a work of art as contemporary or not? It's actually a bit like this. If you paint or if you do some kind of remake painting of the 19th century impressionist art today, and if you do not add anything from today, I would say maybe it's a nice painting Maybe it's a nice impressionist or neo-impressionist artwork, but I don't know whether I would call it contemporary. I believe that for, for an artwork to become contemporary, the artwork has to respond to historical or present issues with contemporary aesthetics, techniques and artistic approaches. Art must be transformation. Pure documentation is not art for us. How do we decide? Intuitive. Whether it's contemporary is not important for us. I like to make art very inclusive. Art is for everyone. It should be approachable. Um, art in its broadest sense, I think, is anytime anyone creates something it could be anything from lying a table very nicely or the way you dress yourself every day um, it could be how you fold a napkin 
I think when you apply yourself to create something, it becomes a skill. Um, the saying, the art of conversation, for example, that's an art. So I think in the broadest sense, uh, I think as long as you create anything, it's an art. But when it comes to fine art, um, um, I think it is um, when something touches you and you use that and you use art as, as a language to express this, to extend this, whether it's painting or sculptural or performance art or installation or, um, you know, whichever language you prefer to use. Um, and obviously today, contemporary art um, is when you use current trends, political, cultural, social trends. I think that can define contemporary art. Um, it can also be that you use um, modern or contemporary mediums or techniques, the way you apply paint, for example. Um, Obviously, social and political trends is something that's been coming and going through through the history, through the centuries. So it's not anything that defines per se. I think this is um, something that, um, you know, through historical and classical art, it's all connected through mankind. Um, so even though it's more freely expressed today, um, normally there's no freedom of speech there's no political or backlash so i think that's in the broader sense is how i would define what is art and um, what is contemporary art obviously there is a, a more specific technical um a way of saying what's contemporary um, when it was created from a certain period of time or year um but i i i like to say it has to do a lot with uh, the, what subject matter and what material and the way you you apply apply yourself to to create this visual language in my view it is no coincidence that the process of artistic discovery is different perhaps should be better to say complementary from that of scientific or philosophical investigation in the strange zone that makes up the feel of art thinking knowing discovering seems to be precisely the act of questioning the very evidence of things in order to make us understand that no matter how far our research takes us there is always something to be penetrated there is always a deeper layer to be unveiled I mean by this, that for me, the main burden of art practice, whether as an artist, as a curator or producer or educator, has never been to verify the conformity between research statutes and formal procedures, but rather to testify about the bonds that bind and separate our familiar notions of man Nature and culture knowing that thinking about these links means, above all, thinking about the borders and ambiguous reliefs that impel us to try to go beyond their demarcation. That is, in the moving territory of experience with art, forms, thoughts, and languages are born diversely, parallelly, transversally, by different paths from those used in epistemological investigation. Sometimes even against the methodological, formal, and procedural prescriptions of certain research projects, which does not necessarily mean that the disposition for artistic experimentation can place us below or beyond categorical boundaries. It simply means that walking in this area of strangeness is, 
in many senses, walking on a relief capable of preserving polarities, demarcations, and borders, simultaneously united and separated. It is difficult to define when a work can be called art, or even to define a work as contemporary. However, what I can say with certainty is that the artist and the curator, as privileged agents of action in an artistic project are agents capable of building bridges between imagination and reality. They are actors who seek, in the exchange between relations of works, defined languages, or specific technical means, a possibility of weaving links and questions about the succession of facts of our ordinary reality about the emptiness of our human condition and about what is hidden, ever sieve, in the interstices of the social and cultural agreements we share. Hmm. <laughs> when becomes a piece art? This is the biggest question you could have asked me and I cannot answer it. I don't know when um, something becomes art. But when I choose an artwork, I want to experience some aspects. Like, has the work a deeper level? Has it secrets? Is it unique? What is the artist's inner voice and how is it expressed? Has it a clear quality in its making? Is there storytelling, for example? Is it contemporary art of the day? Meaning, is it connected to what moves us? And so on. All this has to be perceptible by our senses, our minds, our intellects sometimes. It has to open up to the one facing the work. 